I'm Jim, and I'm a retired electrician. I suppose I could say that I accumulated all this stuff by mistake. <laughs> but that would have to mean a lot of mistakes. I uh, woke up one day and said, where did all this stuff come from? <laughs> I am a hoarder. I like to collect uh, tools for sure. camera things, electronics of all types, computer components and gizmos, survival stuff. Got tons of books. I've got materials from projects that I thought would be financially beneficial, but uh, somehow I got sidetracked. And I could actually fill up a warehouse, I sometimes think. It's time for a couple of pills here. Couple of pills. Let's have a couple of pills. I'm Alicia, and Jim is my dad. All right, down you go. In 2019, when I lost my last job, I felt broken. I moved in with my dad. He thought, well, maybe we can help each other. We can get this place cleaned up and you can kind of find yourself again. And along the way, that, that, didn't, that didn't happen. Living in the middle of my dad's ward, it's been the most difficult experience of my life. You know, feeling claustrophobic and suffocated in there. I wouldn't wish it on anyone. Hi, Jim. <laughs> Dr. David Tolan, how are you? All right. Very nice to meet you. I'm Dr. David Tolan. I'm a clinical psychologist, and I specialize in the study and treatment of hoarding disorder. I see you've got a lot of survival gear here, Jim. Yeah. Yeah, what's that about? Well, I guess you hadn't heard. Uh, uh, the world is ending next week. <laughs> mm. <laughs> is that what you're preparing for? Well, that's what I thought I was doing and to at least feel as though uh, I had most of the things that I might need in a desperate situation. Understood. As I point out some of the survivalist stuff and, and all the, the kind of doomsday prep that Jim has in the house, he's able to concede that maybe he is erecting a wall between him and the outside world. If that's the case, then it's gonna be that much harder for us to get him to let go of things. They give him a sense of safety, of security. So what do you think is the bottom line in terms of how this is all progressing and how this all happened? It, uh, it seemed to make sense as I was going along. Yeah. But uh, I finally got uh, overwhelmed. Yeah, it sounds that way. And then uh, here I am. Uh, I'm going to have to get rid of some of this stuff. There's no doubt about it. I think you're right. Yeah, I, I think that that there's probably no way that we're just going to be able to organize all this stuff. I mean, I think a lot of it's just going to have to go. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Dorothy. Well, <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, Digna. Listen, Jim, we are all here to help you. And we want to acknowledge you as being a Vietnam veteran. <laughs> so you. I'm going to address you this morning as Corporal Jim, <laughs> all right? And this is your platoon. Here is Dr. Tolan. He's one of your platoon leaders. I'm your other platoon leader. 
And everyone here is reporting for duty, right? So, reporting Jim, for duty. We yeah. are here for you. <laughs> It was a toolbox at one time. Clothes and bags to the backyard, all in one spot. That's gonna go with dollies and things like that. So put it over that way. Wait a second, what's here? What do we got, Tyler? There's two guns. Okay, stop! Stop! Everybody out. Everybody out. We are finding a gun on the average about one every single hour. And so, oh, you've got another gun? I got another gun. Stop! stop! They have to call the gun specialist in. We say stop, he has to come in, take the guns, secure it, tie it, tag it, and store it away. All right. So that is slowing us down for sure. Okay, let's keep going. You know, as I've been thinking more and more about this cleanout process, it's occurring to me that this is not just about cleaning out a house, but it's really kind of making space for the two of you. And, and the two of you seem like, even though you live in the same house, you've been sort of in your own spaces and kind of stuck yeah. in your own places. And, you know, I thought maybe this would be a time to connect a little bit and, and just sort of talk things through. Alicia, what do you feel like you need from your dad right now? Just for him to share with me more of who he is, because there are parts of himself I don't think he's ever really shared. Well, you know, it's 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 hard for me to talk like that. And of course, uh, my daughter is somebody that I'm not uh, accustomed to expressing myself with or about or not? around. You what? know, because I don't want her to think any worse of me than she already does. So. Wow. <laughs> now you're laughing, but but I think. Jim, you just said something really powerful. What is it that, if if Alicia knew about you, what is it that that she would find out that that would make her think less of you? Uh, I don't know. I guess uh, perhaps that uh, that I'm uh, more of a uh, of an idiot and a weakling than I put on, you know. But Alicia, uh, I, I don't know if you're hearing what Jim absolutely. is saying, but I mean, he's saying some really powerful stuff here. Absolutely. He's saying that, you would think less of him if you knew him more and that he's a, yeah. I think you said an idiot and a weakling. I mean, do you view him that way? Not, not at all. We all have our idiosyncrasies, our imperfections, but we're human. We're allowed to be flawed. We're allowed to make mistakes. That's right. And we're allowed to learn from them and move on. Yep. You know, and what my dad did like uh, in his service days, that was amazing. Vietnam was a, an interesting ride. I bet. I tried to explain to her uh, what it's like uh, to be on a death march, you know, where mm. where everybody, all the ammunition is gone, everybody's done for, and we still got five miles to walk to the, to the pickup point. Mm -hmm. So what's that laughter hiding, Jim? <laughs> I guess it's hiding the fear and the exasperation and the desperation and the anger of, uh, of, of an insane situation that, yeah. that you shouldn't have a bunch of guys in. You know, there's yeah. probably about 12 or 15 of us. And, uh, and we, <laughs> we, we walked a long way, that day. and uh, so, uh, yeah, but we made it. So, uh, you know, we... To see Dad open up like that, um, that's rare. And it meant a lot to me that he was willing to take that step to um, just start taking off that mask that he's worn for so long. Alicia, you know your dad better than just about anyone. What do you think he needs right now? <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she's a good girl. Well, listen, I'm really glad that we were able to talk. And, and you know, I, I, again, I, I'm really hoping that we're not just going to make space in the house, but that we're going to make space for the two of you to have a good relationship here. And, and that's more important than the stuff. <sighs> yeah. 
This is the last day and I'm totally amped up because we still have stuff in the front yard. We have stuff in the house. I have Jim and Alicia working on electronics. Yeah, we need to make that blanket decision, Dad. Yeah, we're tossing the blanket. We're boxing everything else up that's left over. And I have housekeepers just scrubbing as fast as they can. We're taking things that we purchased for him and bringing it into the house. We're doing everything we can to set this house up so it looks like a true home for Alicia and Jim. Come on in. Come on. My God, what on earth took place here? <laughs> well, just take I it in swear. for a minute. Jim and Alicia, how does it feel to see your house like this? Am I floating? Uh, <laughs> this is a dream. Yeah. I'm tempted to cry. My God, this is astounding. What makes you feel like crying, Jim? It was painful, but it's sweet. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's really sweet to see things that I haven't seen for a long time, like walls. Yeah. Yeah. But. Uh, or to be so open and airy in the light. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is. Flow uh, is. This is what I've been missing. Yeah, this is it. Looks like new. Magnificent. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can see the walls and everything. So Jim, we set up this room as your sleeping room. Sleeping room. Okay, there it's really go. just for you to come in and sleep oh, and yeah. have the whole bed to sleep in. All right. The other room is yeah, yeah. as it was. Mm -hmm. And in fact, that's where all your guns are stored right. so that okay. it's been safe, you know, so that we could work in the house. Sleep here, sort and organize over there. That's probably a good idea. I'm remembering when I first came into the house and I saw the little sliver of bed that you were yeah, lying on. A little shell. I'll tell you just, Jim, that broke my heart to see you <laughs> having to live that way. And I'm, yeah. I'm really glad that Dorothy and her team were able to open up a space for you to, to sleep and to, to be comfortable. That's amazing. I'm, I'm ready to start living again. And uh, I do sort of feel like the old boy that fell into the ditch and, and had the, the Good Samaritan rescue. I think we can step outside because you know I can't help myself. <laughs> <laughs> we always have one more little thing that we want to, eh, just one more thing to show you. So why don't we head outside and okay. see what we've got. Come on out. Come on out. Is that flags? <laughs> Sergeant Ellison, on behalf of the Veterans of Foreign Wars, I'd like to thank you for your service in the U.S. Army. And we would like to be a support to you and your family at the Kannapolis Post 8989 if you would be interested in joining us. Here I thought I was just a lonely old veteran serving on his own. <laughs> oh, you never are. Post, present arms. Order arms. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. God almighty. <laughs> the parade really surprised me. Yeah, I was stunned. I wasn't just surprised. I was I was stunned. It felt really great for the for the veterans to just uh, come in and, and thank me and yeah, it was it was amazing. Group hug!
Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.